Hi friends and welcome back to our channel. Dear friends, it is a common observation that a living person sinks in the water whereas a dead body floats at the surface of water. Now, a question may come to your mind that why a living person sinks in the water and why a dead body floats on the surface of water. Let's try to get the answers to these questions. First of all, we try to know why does a living person sink? When a swimmer swims in the water, he breathes outside of the water. It means that he doesn't allow water to enter into his lungs. As a result, he doesn't sink in the water. On the other, when an inexperienced person enters the water due to any reason, he can't breathe outside of the water. Its reason is that he can't float at the surface of the water. As a result, his body continues to submerge under the water. When a person continues to submerge under the water, water replaces oxygen in his lungs. The density of that person exceeds from the density of water. As a result, a living person sinks in the water. Secondly, we try to know why does a dead body float on the surface of the water. When a body sinks under the water, the bacteria in the gut and the cavity in the chest of this person continue to produce gases. This body sinks under the water until enough gases are not produced in the body of this person. When enough gases like methane, hydrogen sulfide, and carbon dioxide are produced in the body of the person, his density decreases. When the density of the body becomes lower than the density of water, he starts to float at the surface of the water just like a balloon. The production of these gases in the body of a person depends upon some other factors too. Therefore, it takes some time to float a body at the surface of the water. That's why if a person sinks into a river at a specific place, we find its body away from the destination. Thirdly, what is the refloating of dead bodies? As we know that rescue workers have to find dead bodies in the water. Sometimes, rescue workers use the term or float while rescuing dead bodies. According to them, if a dead body floats at the surface of the water for a long time, it releases the gases that build in the body. As a result, his density again increases than water, and this dead body sinks again into the water. Under the water, the decomposition process continues in the dead body. Due to this decomposition process, more and more gas is produced in the dead body. When enough gas is produced in the dead body, it will start floating again. We call it the refloating of the dead body. You may have enjoyed this video. If you have enjoyed this video, never forget to like and share it. You should also subscribe our channel for more interesting videos.